What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So I have a deck for you guys today. It's a Shoop Gord deck. Um, you guys might know there's some uh, Francesca Gord Spalatel decks that have been going around. Uh, Adzakov has been playing a bit of it on ladder. I decided I'd give Shoop a try and it's actually really good. Um, I was kind of make making fun of Squirtle and how they don't have any good Shoop decks, but yeah, um, this one's actually quite good. The gameplay I'm going to have for you guys today might be a little different from the list that I have right here in front of you. Um, the difference is in that list I was running Fog uh, instead of Dennis Cranmer. Uh, turns out Fog isn't as good because some decks are playing few units or maybe it's a shorter round three. Dennis is better because the idea is you play Justice for Muscle on the first one. And then the second Justice you play with your leader on Defenders. You can then either use Golden Froth or Dennis Cranmer. Um, to buff it and start going, which is really good. Someone might wonder, why don't I have muzzle in this list? And the answer is, there's no room. Um, you could cut the fob water package, but I find it's really important uh, just early on. And Or you could cut like fables, but fables is really important for consistency, so I don't think you can really cut either. Um, I suppose you could cut justice, but do you really want to muzzle over justice? Not to mention you're already running a lot of removal. Do you really need more removal? So that's up for, to you. You could make that switch if you'd like to, but uh, this list is the one that I'm running currently. I'll run through it really quickly. Francesca, the leader that allows you to replay a uh, special again. Uh, typically the special in this deck is always going to be justice. Uh, you can go five water water if you want. Uh, it's not a terrible play if for whatever reason you don't draw justice. I don't know how you do that because this deck actually does have a good amount of thinning. Uh, but in, in case you, you need to, uh, or sometimes in round three, I'll play like fledgling into water or something. Shoop is obviously very important in a Shoop deck. Uh, water is very good with Fav. Justice is good with the Dwarfs. Land of a Thousand Fables is for consistency. Immune Dragon is very strong simply because, well, uh, immunity is really good. People are playing uh, Syndicate, obviously, and Dragon is very good against Bounty because you can't target it. Uh, it's also good against uh, other no unit or few unit decks slash removal decks. Malayan is just good removal. Um, I suppose you could replace this with something. Uh, maybe COC, Curse of Corruption, if you really want to. Uh, and then replace like uh, one of the specials for a Dragoon or so. Uh, you, you could do that if you'd like. Um, Marching Orders. Marching Orders is really good in this deck. Uh, the idea is... It adds consistency. Your two twos in the deck are Fav and Gord. It is kind of awkward if you draw neither in your opening hand because then you can't necessarily marching orders for Fav. Uh, but typically you do draw one of them and then you can marching order see, uh, Fav out because Fav is obviously very good in round one. It is typically my go-to. Um, I'll, I'll jump right to gameplay, I suppose. I don't mind playing Fav Water in round one. I don't mind playing Justice in round one either. I don't mind playing Shoop in round one either. Uh, basically, you don't mind playing any card in the deck in round one other than Gord because Gord is kind of your finisher. This deck does thin pretty aggressively. Um, when it comes to mulligans, you want to be mulliganing all your units away and you want to keep your specials with the exception of water because of fob. Uh, this is because you want to play as many specials as possible to get Gord up. Typically, my Gords are between like 11 and 14, which is quite a strong finisher. Um, pretty worthwhile if you're making an entire deck around it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Runestone, it's just a good card. Um, yeah, every now and then it pulls the nuts. Every now and then it sucks. Yeah, it's a fun card. Thunder's good removal, Golden Froth. Um, can be a little tricky uh, to find three units. It, it shouldn't be too hard if you're playing Fav Water, uh, but the main reason this is in the deck is so that at the end of the game or whenever you're using your second Justice with your leader, you play Justice into the Defenders and then you throw Golden Froth on it. Um, or you can use Dennis Cranmer. I guess I skipped over him, but yeah, Dennis Cranmer obviously is for uh, the Mahakam Defenders. Or obviously you can play it in round one if you need the extra points. Um, Dancing Star is good because people are playing artifacts. Worst case scenario, it's three damage, which isn't the end of the world. Bombs are good because they do damage. Muscles obviously included because of Justice. Mahakam Defender is the second Justice target. Uh, Spores, this is the worst card in the deck. But honestly, there really aren't any other 4P cards. You could play Dryad's Crest, Unbrick Fob. Granted, your water is typically always mulliganed in round one, and I generally play Fav water in round one, so it shouldn't be bricking, um, but I suppose you could put it in there. You could play Samum if you'd like. Uh, I don't have any kind of row stacking punish like Lacerate or Crushing Trap. 
Why don't I have last rate in this deck? Well, because there's a lot of removal in the deck, and if you're removing a lot, last rate's pretty bad. So Spores is kind of up in the air. Like, yeah, you could play something like a Farseer, um, but you, you, you do want to be playing as many specials as possible. Uh, so this is kind of the card that's in the deck at the moment. Uh, Elven Swordmaster. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to really go through any of these because basically there's just lots of playable fours. Yeah. Um, I suppose you could actually drop one of these for Farseer because Farseer actually does have a decent shot at hitting uh, an important card. The only thing I dislike about Farseer is it can reveal a card you don't want your opponent to know about, say Dancing Star or maybe Shoop, or I guess those are the two main ones. Yeah, I guess you could play you could play Farseer. Um, we can cut BME. BME is pretty bad. Yeah, play Farseer. It's probably better. Um, it's a four every now and then. It's a six. Sure. Uh, the rest of the cards are whatever. Um, yeah, basic game plan. Try to win round one uh, just because your Gord is going to be your final play in round three. And you don't want your opponent to be able to kill it with tall removal or resets. Um, pushing round two, depending on the matchup, you can push round two. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes it's not. Uh, your long round is okay. Uh, fob water, but you don't have too many ways to proc fob water. Typically, the uh, fledglings go to maybe six. Uh, which is why I play them in round one. Uh, if you don't have this in round one, you can bleed in round two. Your short round is quite good. Uh, if you bleed to zero and you still have Gordon deck, you have a very high chance of drawing it because it does have a good amount of thinning. You draw Gordon round three. You should be able to win the game off of that. If you have your leader, you probably definitely win. Right? Optimal round three would be something like Francesca with Justice into uh, Mahakam Defender with Dennis and Gord and then a third card. That would be like really, really good round three. Uh, you will beat most decks with that. Uh, yeah. Um, I would like to say the gameplay does have different cards. I mean, I just added a farce here, so it's going to be a little different. It doesn't really ch change how the game is played out. Um, yeah. The concept is still the same, so I hope you guys enjoy the deck. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I should say, normally I would wait a day for this deck, and I'd play with this improved list, just because, you know, it's better to have all the cards um, that are in the deck for the gameplay. But it is the 26th now that I'm recording this, and the patch is going to be on the 29th. So things will change on the 29th, I would assume. Typically, that's what a patch does. Uh, and because of that, I, I want to put out the deck sooner than later to give you guys a chance to play the deck if you guys want to. Uh, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the deck list. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys on the next one. We do what must be done. Do you think you can play Phoenix in any deck? Uh, yeah, Caretaker, uh, Caranthier, and the Nom Nom card and Monsters can do it. But other than that exact deck, no, I don't. Do we mulligan this so that Sheeler doesn't smash us? We'll just draw it later, forehead. It usually works. Kappa. If he hits this, it's really bad because I have to mulligan it back and then justice. So, like, I think I'd end up justicing, like, a sword master or something if he did that. Kind of suck. Speaking of sucking, can't really play anything. I can't play this or this or this. He's not going to play any units, is he? They can hide, but there's no escape. Mm. Expectations on patch. Hopefully Syndicate and Northern Realms get toned down, or the other three and a half factions get uh, buffed. I'm not going to deal with this. Just pass. I have no good plays here. Not an elf card. That's why I said three and a half. Because 
Nilfgaard, their hyper thin and their Ardolis don't need a buff, but their soldiers and spy lists need a buff, so that's why I said three and a half. Oh, World of Warcraft went down to one mil. They're losing viewers. Dead game. Brother wrote that vampires will be good on Reddit. Yeah, so that right there is kind of an indicator that they probably will be buffing factions next patch, such as monsters. Now the question is, are they only doing monsters or are they doing everything? Would you really well? We gotta turn one this to play around. She led. That was in general. Any direct expectations? Uh, one second. Are there any bad units in my hand? No, all my units are top tier. We'll keep. Turn one smash. Um. Well, it depends, right? So the question is, are the other factions getting buffed? If the answer is yes, then technically cards like Kira won't get nerfed. But if other factions aren't getting buffed, my guess is Kira gets nerfed by one strength. Um, Falibor gets nerfed by one strength. Vernon Roche. I don't know. I, I want either Commandos to be doomed from the Blue Stripe Scouts or Vernon needs a different ability. The consistency on that card is insane. Um, this is Purify, so use Thunder first. Um, we have another bomb here. Ammo hits, nothing that I care about. That's an easy Purify. I would switch Saskia for Muzzle. No, you need the body. The immunity is super important. Like, super duper important. Okay. I don't know if I like this play. I'm not sure. But it's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. It's not the worst thing in the known universe. Uh, probably Runestone. Northern Wind doesn't look like it's getting any value. He's no more engines, right? Yeah, this list doesn't run Nausicaa. Where can I find a good hyper thin list? Anywhere. All the hyper thin lists are the same. If you're having difficulty finding them, then you're not looking very hard. I mean, every single list is just two of these, this, two of these, this, 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 that. Like, all of these cards are in every list. The question is what golds do you run? Depending on the leader, it kind of determines the gold, but you can honestly play whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. There's a ton of flexibility. We play back here in case he yoinks it with muzzle, but I don't think they can afford muzzle, but just in case. You forgot portal? Well, obviously portal. There's the muzzle. So I don't mind this because we have Tempest. They're going to runestone here. Another special is pretty good. Dwarf. So this is worth four, but he can Vilgafort's my Herald, which I don't like. This, on the other hand, is worth six plus one is seven. This is a seven. Right? Because if I stick it on this, I have no Dryad, so I don't lose it. So this is the best.
Is he already blue muzzle? I don't think he can... It's not a seven. It's six plus one. Does it not count for this? Oh, 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 three turns, forehead. Yeah, okay. Who is to die? Zero games of Nilfgaard? No, I have Nilfgaard. The only deck I haven't played is Syndicate. I have no intention of it. I know Nilfgaard. I've played Nilfgaard. Okay, so these are bricks. I feel like there's another brick in my hand, but I can't figure it out. I guess this is a brick. You don't need this card in round one. If you, if you draw Fav in your opening hand, you don't need that card, I don't think. Because the odds of not drawing Marching Orders or that card by round three is close to nil. <laughs> what about a Nova deck? Nah, Nova blows. I've tried. It's really bad. The payoff is non-existent. Most likely a Regis summoning circle deck. We'll go at him together. Swords I smile at. Weapons love. I suppose this is bad against Arrakis Venom, but I don't think I've ever seen SK play Arrakis Venom. Actually, there was a period of time where people would play Arrakis Venom. Get this going. This is really good. Holy shit. Spellatel is back. Feels good, man. I mean, not to the extent that it was before. This used to be a bronze, and you could play three of them. Oh, I want to bomb it. I want to bomb it. Can I bomb it? No. Can't bomb it. I play that bomb. Sure. Oi. I gotta save this for summoning circle. Why are you guys muting the volume? You're coming with me. Okay. Keep your heat. 
I need to play this on this because everything else dies. And I need to play around muzzle. I don't mind playing justice because we're going to justice with leader and then we're going to golden froth. We don't want that, but we keep it so we can mulligan it later. I do need to draw the froth though, otherwise this combo doesn't really work. I don't really want a long round, but whatever. I suppose we have artifact removal and we have explosiveness at the end. So we can kind of play around Regis. Pallor? So it's a shoop deck? Well, I guess Pallor doesn't mean shoop. It's just good tech against Syndicate, I suppose. No dragon, no Malayan, kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, not shoot. Death awaits us all. Hmm. We're most likely going to go shoot artifact removal because he's going to play ale in summoning circle. With wrath. How do I kill that? Ha. Strike this board over. Don't like it. Reset. Just wipe it all off. I like it. Like a doomsayer. Just wipe the whole board. We were ready. Was that shoot worth? Yep. It was worth. I think it's worth. Shit, I can't kill that. I mean, I can kill it, but I don't really want to. Is there? Uh, Shiza. I mean, I just play melee, right? Okay, we'll do it like this. Runestone will roll damage, right? It's just two damage. How hard can it be? Yeah, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Two damage. Easy peasy. Yes, easy peasy. See? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Who's the courage to fight the bell carls, eh? Oh Let's get this over with.
We can put it here, but we give him extra. Defender finisher pog champ. Must be destroyed. Gotta keep it because Emma hits fall water. I think the trap with making a shoop deck is playing bad cards like Oak. Will you ever cut your hair on stream? Highly unlikely. It's pretty good. Dude, we're Shoop Tribing all day long. Holy shit. This is my third Shoop Tribe today, I think. <laughs> We've gotten a Shoop, we got this card, and we got a uh, Vild Carl. Oh, and we got... Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Shoop Tribe is really good. I would never do this if I lost coin flip, but because I won coin flip, I think it's fine. Marching order is another tactic. Yeah, but I don't think I want to commit it. I don't think I need to. You will not regret this, good sir. Cause he'll probably pass on like five or something. The Empire will be victorious. Okay. Fine with me. I need to get the fog going. He's gonna boost it? I guess we should have killed it. I don't know. I don't think he'd roll a boost. Why are you playing Fog? Because it's an 8 for 7, it's a special, why not? Because it's a shoop deck with Gord. I mean, I'll play Runestone again, that's fine with me. Take the round. There will be rain or dust, perhaps.
misses me now. Who was I before? My professor says reality a lot, kind of like this streamer I know. Yeah. I've heard some streamers say that from time to time. Bleed. I'm worried about losing. I could lose a card down or a card up in round three because it's hyper thin. Hyper thin is very scary. They have a lot of explosive cards in round three. I need to try to force out a decent card out of him and he might be okay. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Wait, he draws three cards. And he doesn't have a sire. What? How do you over thin? I guess I didn't even need to do that. Oh, Zarth. Zarth in the card. Yeah. We're looking for... Yeah, that. Need to not get greedy. Has he played muzzle? No. I don't really want to give him a better muzzle. His hand is Vilgi and muzzle. Give no quarter. And he works. I guess he doesn't run muzzle, does he? His last card should be Vilg. Maybe it's Muzzle. I don't know. Okay, we might have thrown four points, but I felt bad for him, so. Baby. 
I didn't draw either of the twos, so I can't MO. It's pretty bad. Do you mind changing Anna's avatar? Why? What's wrong with it? We ought to help one or the other. The best healer I've ever got in my entire life. Is he epidemic guy? Yeah. We'll have to keep that in mind. Which means we should be able to bleed to zero, right? Because he should have a bricked epidemic in hand. He also has spear, thunder. He's got a lot of shit, actually. It, but it should be okay. You'll beg for this. We can try to roll vitality. Biggest. Lower his epidemic, right? Or make his epidemic worse. Can't really play this. I need him to pass soon. He should have to pass pretty soon. He shouldn't be able to go too deep. Unless he hard mulligans all his shit away. But then if he's doing that, he's not likely to draw everything by round three. Because he has two epis. He has Scorch. He has a Mastercrafted Spear, a Thunderbolt Potion... Tainted Ale. Yeah, he just wants me to pass by blowing his big cards. But we should get a pass from him pretty soon. I really don't want to play this, but I'll do it if I have to. I don't mind playing Malayan. Why no charm? Because it's a 1 in... 11? I mean, if he wants, he can Epidemic for negative one. I don't know. This is where he starts bricking. He really wants to win round one.
They're looking to draw Gord. Oh my goodness, both of the- oh my goodness, hey, what is this shit? Get out of here. These are pretty bad, but... Can you do this in one card? Guys, we can spar this to play around Epidemic. Pogchamp. <laughs> I don't think you can do this in one. Because he could ping this in an Epi, but... That's not one card. I used to play another card. I mean, this deck is really good the first time, and then it's not so good. All right, give me some gold cards. Good. Good. How many priests did he play? I mean, the reality is we still don't keep spores. Um, keep, I guess. I really wanted one of these two, but it should be fine. I don't need to get greedy. So he has Scorch and Epidemic, another Spear. We have Justice? Yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, this should never be a loss. Ha! Oh, it's not gonna let me play the card? Just play it onto the board! Come on, CDP- what the- Put it onto the board. I want my gourd value. Come on, CDPR. Just cast it. Why, CDPR? Just cast it into nothingness. Ugh. Why not discard? Because I'm losing points on my gourd. Because I'm not actually playing the card. His hand is like Epi, Scorch, and a third card. Yeah, I don't know how you win. Like, it's a good deck until it's not, which is one game. It's a good deck for one game, and then it's no longer a good deck. It's kind of the problem with like Epidemic Scorch, like multiple multiple artifact decks, because their weakness is they don't have a good round. Or rather, I'll rephrase that: they can't go all in round one because they have bricks. 